natural acoustics created by sounds reverberating from large alluvial formations just west of Denver have attracted visitors for centuries. From Ute Indians and 19th century explorers to today's tourists and events, the magic of Red Rocks Amphitheater is a timeless treasure. John Brisbane Walker discovered the Natural Amphitheater in 1880 and was impressed by how well his voice projected to companions. He predicted future concerts with great singers and thousands sitting on the hillside. In 1905, J.B. Walker Jr. bought the park for $5,000. He erected a stage, chartered trains from Denver, booked talent, and began the legacy of thrilling performers and audiences alike with the magic of the sound and the setting. The city of Denver bought the park from the Walkers in 1928, and in 1935, Mayor Stapleton's new Director of Parks and Improvements, George Cranmer, began to realize his vision of music in the mountains. From the toil of Cranmer's Works Progress Administration crews to the $26 million upgrades of the new millennium, Red Rocks Amphitheater sustains its status as the finest outdoor concert venue in America.